Hey everyone, it's Rad, and I want to thank Keen for they are the sponsor of this video. And don't skip ahead, for I do have a special and exciting announcement to uh, make, including a very, very special gift for anyone who is watching, which I will get to it a uh, soon. For those who doesn't know Keen, this amazing website provides you with an access to a vetted psychics, spiritual advisors who can provide a guidance and insight in into life's challenges, into clarity in love, into relationships, and as well into career and, and many, many more. And Keen, it is a one of the most uh, affordable way to get an instant psychic reading with a professional at any time, 24 seven. What I love about Keen is that it is perfect for anyone who wants to talk with someone right away, anytime, anywhere there is no wait and it is excellent if you do have a burning question that literally needs an answer right now and it is double perfect for if you are on a budget too and here is where my gift for you guys is coming in for anybody who wants to talk with advisor on keen just click my link in the description down below and you get a 10 minutes for just only two dollars and just see for yourself for i do support keen and i have been around the block a lot when it comes to um psychics readers and especially prophets and i can tell you that there are those who are false but uh judging by the way keen found me i can tell you that they are venting their uh advisors uh, very carefully and you i do encourage you to try it out especially if you do have questions that i cannot answer like for example about health like for example about a reallocation because Saro is just not designed for that uh, for example as well yes or no questions as well guys it's only two dollars for 10 minutes and i cannot think of a better way to try it out and uh, get the clarity you seek so there are a uh, tarot readers, psychic readers, uh, love and relationship advisors, and as well spiritual advisors there. Uh, and you can take your time to make a selection of the reader of your choice, establish a bond, which is going to establish as well a goal, be it a uh, intention setting, be it a, a chakra clearing, be it healing, manifesting, and many, many more. And what is also amazing there is that Keen provides every customer of theirs with a monthly discount, which is a um, clearly a way to show you that they do appreciate you being there and it also provides you with a way to afford multiple readings should you need so the signing up process very simple i'm going to show you how all that you have to do is just watch my screen very few simple clicks for their website it is made intuitively and it's just you cannot get it wrong and just in these few simple clicks you are get yourself ready to make your selection of uh, readers and dive into your spiritual journey right away so to use my gift just click in the link in the description box and get your 10 minutes with a keen advisor of your choosing for just only two us dollars and and see for yourself how amazing they really are with the variety of their uh, advisors and as well the prices which have a ton of variety too should you be on a budget thank you keen for sponsoring this video Capricorn welcome to the channel guys and uh, into this video we're going to check into your week uh, February 28th up until March 6th 2022 and uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel guys and you do wish to support us just leave a like subscribe uh, hit that notification bell so you do not miss any of our weekly uploads as well live streams and uh, with that being said let's uh, check on your week now shall we uh, First one you have that is going to be the strength card, followed by uh, the second card, which stands as the Knights of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the death card, followed by uh, the uh, Ten of Wands, and the final card for you, Capricorn, of your week uh, that is going to be uh, the uh, the High Priestess. Okay, so these five cards. 
and uh, it kind of seems that there is going to be quite of a important interactions should i say it that way with you and somebody and that will happen at the very first initial stages of the week uh and uh it's gonna be important because afterwards some kind of a story is gonna set in whether with that person or without that person i do believe that here uh what we have it is kind of like a Final, final negotiations, so to speak. Is, are the things going to work out in between you two, or are the things not going to work out at all in between you two? I sincerely hope uh, that you are going to be able to find some kind of a resolution of the uh, situation. But with that said, let's start with uh, the reading itself. So we do have the strength card at the start. And this card kind of shows a few things here. Uh, one of them is that the week is going to start for you very enthusiastic. Uh, either because you do have some kind of a goal. Or it is just you are in a denial of uh, being miserable. If there is something there that is to make you miserable that is and under the <clears throat> under the energy of the strength card guys uh you are going to set um tasks let's call them tasks shall we so you are to set in front of yourself tasks which could be something minor and petite to something gigantic and huge gargantuous so to speak which tasks are going to maintain your enthusiasm and as well your uh your passion to move forward rest assured here in into your career you can expect a very exciting project to take place or a very exciting task to take place as well and uh under the energy of the strength card, uh, uh, the second thing that is going to take place there is that you are going to settle on how you want the things around to happen and what do you want as well. And from that point moving forward, there will be no force in this earth, so to speak, to change your mind over that thing that you are going to set yourself into. And that thing has something to do with this person. That is a karmic thing, okay? Whether it is a karmic friendship or whether it is a karmic relationship, we do have the moon, which pretty much uh, alongside as a catalyst to the Knight of Pentacles, uh, that uh, elemental dignity, it is a passive uh, friends. And uh, the moon there, it is just a testament that it was bound to happen, all right? I'm explaining why into my uh, tarot classes, but in the original card, you do have a path that goes beyond the summit there. That is a path you need to walk, not knowing where you are going to end up, but that is a destination you have to be, you are destined to be, okay? So, that was a person you are destined to have around for one or another reason. What I can tell you about this individual, it is that they very well know as well what they want and how they want it. And that will be the, a big problem here, should it, should it be a problem. This is what I mean. You are also going to have your idea of what you want and how you want it under the energy of the strength card. And also, what I forgot to mention here, it is that you're also going to have the right attitude forward. You will know how you need to address certain situations and, you know, certain enterprises as well. <clears throat> that, but that will be very much true for that individual. And so all comes to that is what you want and what this person wants here. Okay. And what this person wants here, all of the same. If yes then this is going to be unbreakable, indomitable partnership, relationship, romance, friendship, you name it. If it isn't, there isn't anything in this world that is going to be able to, to change that. But I do believe that it's going to be all of the same. What may be the problem, <clears throat> it's the lack of circumstances at that stage. So that to happen which is very much something that the moon card could show okay you want to be for example together but you can't for one or another reason you want to do business together but you can't for one or another reason but you do want to do it together one way or another well if that's the case which should be the case the future will offer you the chance that is bound by the moon card here as a catalyst 
and you can't miss it. You just cannot skip it either. You cannot avoid it. So I, I do think that you do have something major to experience in the future. And here you are going to set the stage at the very first uh, half of this week. And then after setting up the stage with that individual, the death card takes place. And this is the middle of the week here. And this, uh, how can I put it into words? This arrangement, let's call it an arrangement, will require um, <coughs> certain changes, let's call them that way. And uh, it's just at that point, much things are going to be in flux and in a need of desperate letting go of process, like things you don't need, hobbies, mindsets, uh, people, for example, as well. It's just these kind of like aspects in your life, which are not allowing you to do what you want to do with that individual, whether again, it's business, romance, friendship, etc, etc. And with the death card, and I do apologize, guys, I do have a code. So and with the death card, uh, it is just that will be the process of adjustment okay you are letting go or uh for learning relinquishing that is the right word relinquishing aspects and activities of your life which are obstructing you of manifesting this destiny of yours because we're talking about destiny here there is no mistaking it and once the process of change it's uh pretty much over Okay, which is going to be very swift, by the way, it should take a day or two. The real work is about to begin. Now we do have the 10 of wands and uh, the second half of your week is going to be rather quite demanding. There is going to be a lot of aspects that you need to keep up with that will have their requirements that will have their. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's demands. That's the right word. And you will have to fulfill all of these demands should you want to ensure the smooth progression of whatever uh, destiny you do have with uh, the with this individual, which could be, by the way, a man or a, uh, a woman. Now, a few characteristics about the Ten of Wands people. It is that a while the card is very demanding and at some point it may make you feel very overwhelmed and overburdened with all the activities around and all the demands. It promises a great reward at the end. If you are able to keep up with uh, those demands, which you do have the capacity to do it so, it's just you need to be very focused. Uh, the other thing about the card, it is that, uh, how can I put it into words? Uh, it, it, it just is going to be quite dynamic period of time. And so if you are hoping that you will have a time to respite, it, that's not going to be the second half of the week. It's going to be at the end of the week. And that is the high priestess at the end of the week that we do have. All right. So the high priestess. And uh, having this card here, it's just that is the manifestation of uh, of the destiny itself or the beginning of the manifestation of the destiny itself. This is what I mean. Uh, high Priestess, it is uh, the points where, for example, the souls are bonding with each other. OK, uh, that speaks about that you there you go. I mean, you do found your soulmates uh, or you are able to establish the connection with your soulmate. The high priest is also kind of stands for a, a long term lifetime job or a business venture let's call it that way so a business venture the high priestess just stands in the material world for a sustainable living or a situation sustainable situation that you are going to live into and you are going to feel emotionally balanced stable and satisfied and that's given, by the way, by the High Priestess. If you want to look at it spiritually at the end of the week, uh, you are going to answer certain questions to yourself because through the High Priestess, you do find your answers on your own by looking inwards, in yourself, inner guidance, inner wisdom. 
okay and you're gonna find certain answers that way uh, how you feel about certain stuff for example how you feel about this person that person this job that job and so on and so forth but rest assured what I can tell you Capricorn is that at the end of the week guys uh, you are going to be much and I mean a much calmer um, assured and as well uh, relieved the new world at the start of this week so with that said this was your uh, weekly general tarot reading hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it and uh, we are to see each other next time until then bye